Hello everyone, today I'm going to have a look at an overview of a studio scene, also known as a packshot image. This is a very basic style of image and is very popular with product visualization where you have just the product on a white background. This is my scene with a model of one of my first year projects. The key camera parameters in this scene are my focal length, which is in camera parameters and optics, which has been set to 50 millimeters. This is normally a little low for product visualization, but in this case it works well. My f-stop is 32. This is nice and high to ensure that I have a large depth of field and that everything is in focus. And my EV number is 8. One important setting in this scene is that I have enabled devignetting at 100% in render options and simulens. This will disable the vignetting which Maxwell automatically puts into the render to ensure that my background is 100% transparent. My illumination for this scene is coming from a studio high dynamic range image. In this scene I'm using an HDRI made by DeviantArt user Zibig. I'll put a link to these images in the description. I currently have the high dynamic range image set as the background map with the reflection, refraction and illumination channels set to same as background. If I go into my perspective view in the viewport I can show you that the dark area of the high dynamic range image where the camera would go if this were a real scene is positioned behind the camera in my scene. This is achieved by changing the offset value of the image map, in this case to 225 degrees. In my render options in the channels submenu, I've set my output mode to embedded and enabled my alpha channel. Now when I render my image and save it in a file format that supports embedded alpha channels, my background will appear transparent and I'll be able to use an image editor to insert a pure white background. Here's my image after it's rendered and I've simply opened it in Photoshop, made a new layer underneath the original layer and filled it with white to guarantee that the background is pure white. If I turn off the new layer, you can see the transparent pixels created by the embedded alpha layer. Thanks very much for watching and have a look at our channel for more Maxwell Render tutorials. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.